Hey, welcome back friends. Today we're going to take a look at one of Grand Design's newest floor plans, 25 BHE. This is a bunkhouse, a true quad bunk under 30 feet. Going to check some boxes for you guys. Hope you stick around. Okay friends, you know how we roll around here. We uh, do the outside first, then the interior. You've seen enough of my face. So imagine XLS. This is now the middleweight line in the Imagine series now that they have the Ames that came out last fall. And this is a totally new floor plan for them, the 25 BHE. As I mentioned in the intro, this is gonna be a quad bunk in the rear under 30 feet long, 29 feet, 11 inches. So that's gonna be, that's a big deal for some folks um, looking for something to pull that's not these just monster bunk houses here. You can see here, little side profile. Yeah, it's, you know, the other ones are gonna stick out a good seven, eight more feet. So yeah, less sidewall to deal with towing down the road and that's gonna tow, it's gonna just, it's just gonna tow better, that's for sure. So you got your metal front cap on the XLS line. Uh, that's a little different than the full, imag full size Imagines. Pass through storage. You do have, this is a Murphy bed unit. So you can see this, this area is taken up by the Murphy bed. Still some good size pass through. Got your aluminum framing. Aluminum steps here. Of course you got your stabilizer jacks. All four corners there. Manual jacks, I've talked about that a hundred times. I, I like manual jacks. We'll see the interior here in just a second. Got your big campsite window. Freshwater fill. Get your furnace right here. Goodyear Endurance tires come standard on the XLS line. And uh, these wheels came out in the fall of 2021 when they redid the graphics package. And yeah, you get new graphics, of course. It's a new unit, right? Griddles, we've talked about griddles a hundred times on the channel. I love that they do this instead of the stove top. This one is a uh, 23 inch maybe. That's a pretty big griddle. That's a good size. Got your little fridge out here. I have no idea why I always open the fridge, but yeah, I mean, people know what's in there. <laughs> I'm giving myself a hard time. It's awning length. I'll put the awning length up on the screen. I have no idea what it is, but it's a lot. That is a huge awning, especially for this size unit. I mean, you figure this thing is 29 feet, 11 inches. That's got to be close to a 22 foot awning. Yeah, something like that. It'll be up on the screen. You'll see it. Moving back here, we're at a show. So if uh, things get a little crazy behind me, I apologize. So this may look familiar. This is actually going to be the 3210s. They're, they're describing it as the 3210s little brother. And if you look at it from right here, it looks exactly like a 3210. You've got the new window up here that the 3210 has now, and you've got this nice storage door here that opens up and the kiddos have their area in here. We'll get to that in just a second. Again, like I said, a true quad bunk. Got the 300 pound ladder on this side. Got some good storage navigating the show, so apologies. I love they're putting these storage areas, these storage spots in under these bunks back here. Um, I'm gonna take partial credit for that. Sorry, Imagine. Got your tankless water heater. As I've mentioned before, we love our tankless water heater, especially if you're on full hookups. You have unlimited hot water, basically. Now, the downside to them is now your electric option is gone and you have to use your propane. So you don't get any more free hot water. Um, so yeah, there's pros and cons to it. But yeah, ours works great, gets hot really quick, and they're coming out on all kinds of units, not just Grand Design. So I like them, I like them when it's all said and done. Rack and pinion slide, big slide here. So I'm glad they went with rack and pinion. You know, sometimes on these lighter weight trailers, they'll, they'll do the swim tech trying to save some weight. But that is one area that they're like, nope, we got to do a rack and pinion. This slide is just too big for a Schwinn tech. And you've got your windows here. You'll see what those are here in just a second. Going to have some recliners right here. Here's your business end. And you've got the standard Grand Design Imagine comfort station here. You know, battery disconnect, solar controller. There's that solar controller up there. Uh, shower, all of that fun stuff. City water, fresh tank fill. Yeah, you guys have seen this stuff before. Why don't we go inside? That's really what you want to see. All right, here we go. Inside the 25 BAG, brand new floor plan from Grand Design. I've been excited about this one. I've seen this, I've known about this floor plan for a while. 
and it's finally come to fruition and it's got some it's got some goodies in here we get to talk about there's a lot to offer in a less than 30 foot trailer and the first thing I want to point out these are my doing or Brooke and I these are our doing Brooke and I thank you Brooke for your help so yeah I wanted to point that out first we'll start over here in the dinette of course the dinette folds into a bed like almost all RV dinettes do but I love when you're sitting here you can check out your campsite that's nice TVs up here obviously it is on a swivel so let me turn you around here's your TV and here's two TV seats here and two TV seats here looking up watching your movie if that's what you want to do all right yes we have a Murphy bed here's what I'll say I used to have questions about Murphy beds because I've never I'd never had one well now I have and I'll say from experience for me they're not that big of a deal they really aren't especially you know I've got that that little contraption that that neatens all this up which just looks pretty good actually but uh, yeah they're super simple uh, they really are it's not that big a deal and they, the old school ones maybe I don't know I didn't experience those but yeah Murphy beds aren't that big a deal in my opinion you got your your standard imagine closets and drawers here you've got your nice looking storage on each side nice end tables as well you got plug-ins down here and over here you can see it right there big drawers underneath here so that's nice there's a lot of storage that can go in there you can walk in when this Murphy bed is down you can't travel with it down so that is one downside I would I would you know a, a unit this size I would like to maybe be able to travel with the bed down but like I said it's really not that big a deal to pop the Murphy up real quick this side of the unit nice windows behind the recliners dual recliners here so here's mom and dad here's brother and sister yeah makes sense they put curtains in I can certainly appreciate that so 30 foot trailer you know less than 30 foot and you've got curtains here for privacy and you've also got your doors back there in the bunkhouse we'll get to that in just a second I think they're gonna offer a trifold sofa here I'm not a hundred percent sure there so stay tuned get your USB plug-ins over here glass front Furion 12 volt fridge that looks really good uh, that's a big fridge for this type of unit you've got some storage over here behind the dinette they didn't waste this nor should they have so that's good here is your uh, AC unit Furion, Furion AC unit and you've got your tankless water heater control right there oh, it's right here it makes sense how about a little bit of counter space so I'm digging the counter space in here obviously this can be used as counter space as well but yeah I'm thinking coffee maker goes back here or maybe over here everyone asks where the plugins are the plugins on these imagines now are all hidden up in here so you see a blank space back here well where are the where are the plugins well, they're all up here I get that comment a lot on the imagine videos so you got some storage obviously big storage here cabinetry up here so I'm gonna guess if I were gonna do a pantry this is probably gonna be my pantry right here so and then all my plates and all those good things over here peg storage I think nope not in the XLS line peg storage in the full-size imagines hooks over here on the door Brooke and I will take credit for those they're listening to us about putting some hooks in some strategic places as well as in here in the bathroom you got your towel cutty right over here you guys want to be on video say hey hey Hi. hey Hi. <laughs> oh thank you I appreciate it you're getting a preview of one of the next videos right <laughs> that's funny <laughs> well you guys can hang out and then maybe learn some more about this unit so, this is uh, porcelain toilets in the imagine XLS line and you've got nice nice counter space here in this bathroom for this size that's those are nice this is see this is why I open up cabinets because sometimes I'm surprised and I'm surprised how much storage is right there now, I'm not, not sure how much you can use it when you're sitting there but yeah it's got it's got good storage very good very good shower is a smidge smaller than the mo a lot some of the XLS and the imagines but bigger than the imagine aim that's definitely bigger than the imagine aim size so I would fit fine in there all right cool little bunkhouse here 
All right, the good old GoPro, cut out on me. All right, cool little bunkhouse here. So let's check this out. I like how they did this actually, because you still have drawers. You got four drawers for four kids, or four bunks, and you've got these little areas here for toys. So much better, you know, the, our kids' toys end up at the bed, foot of the bed in the bunks. It'd be nice just for them to be able to toss them underneath them. Yeah, I, I like that, I like that. You've got some, uh, let's see, you've probably got a good six feet of storage here. Definitely enough room for some bikes, scooters, maybe not a kayak because this slide's gonna come in. And the, you can't access the bunk room with the slide in from the main entrance, but you can access it from this door. That's one thing I love about this unit. You can access everything with the slides in, including the bathroom. So when you're stopping on the road, you can use your own bathroom. Here is your windows in this unit. No window there. So only top windows, only top windows. And of course your skylight up here. But yes, nice unit. Lights here, they, they're going to these little puck lights now. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I like it. What do you guys think? You like it? I like it a lot. Yeah, it's a brand new floor plan. This is the first show. Look at all the sleeping. Yeah. A quad bunk under 30 feet. So I think it's going to check some boxes. Nice. Yeah. Is, is this their smallest unit? Like size size? Oh, no, no. They get much smaller. Oh. Yeah, I have one right now. I'll, I'll bring them to you and show, show you. All right, guys, I got Diane and Randy here. They, uh, yeah, you can see, yeah. they think this was a winner the 25 BHE Great. XLS Grand Design Imagine. I'll, description box below. If you need any more information, check that out. It'll all be linked there. Hope you guys are good. See ya. And you guys enjoying the show? Enjoying yeah, it. It's beautiful. Very much, yeah. We're about to go look at the Ames.